Hey everybody, we're back once again with the Honda MT700V and I know, I know, I got a lot of your emails. I took like a year sabbatical from making these movies. However, I think it's time to whip a few more your way and this particular one talks about changing the front tire. Now, for those of you who watched the video of changing the back tire, don't be scared on this one because the front one is 100% easier than the back one. Frankly, nothing could be as bad as changing the back tire on this thing. I think I'd rather pull the motor out twice. Anyway. The front one, completely different animal. You got a 12 millimeter socket and a 22 millimeter socket, that tire is going to waltz its way right off your motorcycle. So, you might not even want to watch the video, it's that easy. Anyway, if you're interested, we're going to walk you through it step by step. You might want to watch just to give a few little tips and tricks on how to do that. So, uh, check it out. All right, we're going to get ready to have some fun and take the front wheel off the Honda NT700V. The reason why we're taking the front wheel off of this guy is we've just hit 13,000 original miles, and the, uh, the front tire is starting to look a little uh, dragged down here. If you look, you can see, you know, it's got some cupping wear, and it's getting pretty thin, and it's about time the thing gets retired. Now, I'll tell you, I'm delighted to say that the stock tires have performed very well and I got 13,000 out of them and they're just pretty much hitting the tread wear indicators as we speak so and, and even with the mild cupping and some of the uh, wear that they have there was no bad habits about the bike you know usually you get that kind of uh, take your hands off the bars and things start to shake and you get a little weirdness and uh, you know feel strange taking corners and stuff but uh, it behaved quite well given the fact that the tires are pretty crappy so um, I'm going to put the same ones back on, but let's go through the procedure of taking the, uh, the tire off. What you're going to do on either side is just remove these two bolts right here, and we'll do that right now. Now, there's one area I want you to <clears throat> really focus on, is the distance between this caliper and the edge of your rim right here. It's going to be kind of close. you got to take this disc off. I mean the caliper off of your disc and it's going to come real close in here. <clears throat> if you want to be careful about it, what I typically do is just get a piece of painter's tape or duct tape and put it on your rim right here. So if case you bump into your rim, if you're really fussy and you don't want to scratch up your paint, it's probably got a good idea to put a little surface protector on that. I'm going to attempt it right now without it just to kind of save time and I've done this before. Actually, it, it, this is nothing in comparison to how close some BMWs are. You got you, you couldn't even fit a slice of paper in between these two surfaces, but if you keep it very parallel with the disc, you'll see that boy, I'm just about touching right here the rim when this thing lets go and wants to come off. So uh, not a bad idea to slide a little thin piece of cardboard or best yet just put some uh, tape on that guy just to protect the surface. Okay the next thing you're going to do <clears throat> after you've taken the brake caliper off both sides I'm going to skip the other side because it's the same exact routine. Uh, matter of fact the other side comes off a little bit easier so because you don't have the the double hoses on it and such you don't have that transverse hose on there but your pinch bolts are right here same exact size I believe it's a uh, 12 millimeter <laughs> we're gonna loosen up these guys a little bit now the nut on the other opposite side it's a 22 millimeter put our socket on that break that guy loose okay next you want to elevate the motorcycle a little bit get that front wheel off the ground so we can remove that uh, make sure you jack your motorcycle up if you're gonna do it right on the bottom of the crankcase fold up a, uh, a towel or something like that put it on your floor jack so you don't uh, scratch anything or you could use a nice thick magazine road and track uh, auto week penthouse whatever and uh, so what we're going to do, and make sure your jack plate is situated on something solid like the bottom of the crankcase here and it's not catching the edge of your exhaust pipe clamp or anything that might suffer some damage. We're just going to take a little of the weight off the front of the bike and kind of transfer it to the back. So our front wheel is nice and ready to go to pull the axle shaft out. Alright, here's where that little screwdriver going through your axle shaft ha uh, comes in handy. What I usually do is support the tire just a little bit, or if you want to, 
You can softly let the motorcycle down so there's a little bit of floor underneath. But it's easier to gauge if you just put your foot under the tire or something, take a little of the weight off, and just wiggle that axle shaft back and forth a little bit till it comes through. That thing just wants to walk right out of there. And as you can see, the tire just slides right out easily. You don't even have to take the front fender off of this particular model. It's uh, it's literally a 10 minute job to take the front wheel off of this thing. Okay, I took the front wheel off to give you a better look at this, but one procedure you wanna do is, once you get those calipers loosed from the lower legs like we mentioned, just move it to the outside like that. I'm sure you can hopefully see what I'm doing here. And then what I do is I stick a zip tie through here just to keep that caliper from running around on you. And voila! Like I said, it's a very, very easy job. <laughs> I think, I think uh, it's a breath of fresh air after what we went through with the back wheel, I'll tell you that right now. But anyways, uh, we're going to get our new tire installed and uh, see you on the reverse cycle of all this.